Personal finance practice problem using Excel. Coinsurance provision payment calculation. Get ready to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to the Excel worksheet, that's okay because we'll basically build this from scratch. If you do have access, there's three tabs down below. An example tab, a practice tab, and a blank tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. We have the information on the left-hand side, calculations in the blue area on the right-hand side. We're gonna have a calculation of an insurance that's being paid out but we've got to deal with the coinsurance provision. And then the second tab, the practice tab, will have some pre-formatted cells on the right-hand side so you can go through the practice problem without doing so much formatting in the Excel worksheet. The third tab, basically a blank tab with the information as our starting point. If you don't have this worksheet, you could start with a new Excel worksheet, which I would first select the entire worksheet, format the cells that you would generally like them to be in, which I usually go right-click, format cells and I make them currency brackets no dollar sign and no decimals to start out with and then I change them as necessary I'm not going to do that here because I've already set this up and then you might want to put your starting information which I recommend doing because we want to be drawing from a source data because that's just good practice and redo any cells such as making this cell a percentage it will be at the same point we do have another item down here but that's not necessary uh, for you to work along with the practice problem. So now we've got the home value at the 300,000, the home insured for or coverage amount at the 230,000, which of course is less than the home value. We got the coinsurance provision of the 80%, and then we're gonna imagine that there's a claim of 15,000. First, let's take a look at the definition of coinsurance. That's what this little blurb is down here. Coinsurance, a property insurance provision that penalizes the insured's loss recovery if the limit of insurance purchased by the insured is not equal to or greater than a specified percent, commonly 80% of the value of the insured property. So if we have to insure this property of 300,000 at 80% for the coinsurance provision, then that's gonna be our first kind of thought and that could have an impact on the claim that we're having here. So the coinsurance provision specifies that the insured will recover no more than the following. The amount of the loss multiplied by the ratio of the amount of ins uh, insurance purchased, the limit of insurance, to the amount of insurance required, the value of the property on the date of loss multiplied by the coinsurance per uh, percentage less the deductible so we don't have any deductible that we'll be dealing with obviously the deductible works like a deductible does so the amount of loss uh, that is not payable to the insured as a result of failure to comply with the coinsurance provision is commonly for referred to as a coinsurance penalty a commercial property so let's leave it at that so that's our calculation first we're going to we're going to think about this calculation to see uh, what the what percent that we have of the home that is insured to see if it's less than the 80 percent so in other words let's say this is going to be the percent insured or covered that we have here and i'll select these and let's make this our header format which is black and white i'm going to put that down here so insured or covered let's say and this is going to be let's say this is going to be the amount that we have covered, the coverage amount is 230,000. And then the home value that we're saying is then up top at the 300,000, the 300,000, let's take that percent and call that the percent insured or covered. And that'll equal a good old division problem equals up twice to 230,000 divided by up once to 300,000. I'm going to make that sell a percent so we can see what it is. Home tab number percentified. We can add some decimals. So it's under 80%. So we can see it's under 80%. So we've got this coinsurance provision kicking in. So if I have a claim of the 15,000 that they're going to pay us, we've got this coinsurance thing that's messing things up a bit. So let's put an underline here. We're going to go to the home tab, font group, underline. Let's make this blue and bordered, the bordered blue. Home tab, font group, borders, and then the blue, border blue. So then we're going to say, okay, let's calculate the required coverage up top. So the requ 
required required coverage coverage for the coinsurance policy then i'm going to make this a little bit wider meaning we're supposed to be covering 80 percent of the 300,000 to not have this coinsurance thing mess up our claim amount so i'm going to go up top and say this is going to be home font group and let's make this black and white so let's say that we had the home value of the 300,000 and then we had the the 80 percent that's required to be coverage so it's an 80 percent coinsurance provision let's make that a percent put in our cursor there let's percentify that and then we're going to go to the font group and underline it that means that the required coverage is going to be equal to the 300,000 times the 80% or 240,000. So we only have 300, 230,000. So we're under the 80% required coverage. And so that means when we have this claim that's going to be out here, it's going to be reduced by that amount. Let's do that calculation. Not by that amount, but it's going to be reduced in part because we don't have insurance up to the 80%. So let's make that uh, border blue font group, border and blue as has been our custom so then the claim amount the claim payment is going to be reduced because of this issue so let's make this i'm going to make this black and white out to here for our header home tab font group making that black and white black and white and so then we're going to say that the claim amount was uh for fifteen thousand, so we got this fifteen thousand that we have a claim for but because we have this coinsurance provision and we have less than 80 percent covered we're going to do our ratio calculation which is going to be the comparison of the home insurance amount how much we have it insured up to which is equal to the two hundred and thirty thousand. so this equals the two hundred and thirty thousand, and we're going to compare that then to the required coverage which we said was 80 percent of the value of the home so we, we wanted to have the required coverage they're saying should have been the 240,000. let's put an underline there font group and underline so there's going to be our ratio calculation ratio putting that into the outer column now going to do just a division problem that's the ratio we got the 230,000 on the top divided by or over the 240,000 enter going to have to percentify that so we can see some action happen in home tab numbers percentify let's add a couple decimals so it's about 95.83% let's put an underline on that underline on it too let's do some indentation here because we got like a sub calculation that's why i did this this whole thing over here so we got a sub calculation let's in let's highlight these three go to the home group alignment indent and then with the ratio i'm going to indent that again alignment indent double time double time indentation and so then we're going to scroll down this is going to be the claim payment then that will say the calculation will be equal to the 15 times the 95 83 percent so we had the reduction of the claim due to the coinsurance provision and because we didn't have it up to 80 percent of the value so we've got it reduced to the 14 375 let's put a brackets let's put some border blue on that put some good old border blue on it so there we have it now one thing you might one last thing you might do to try to kind of automate this this whole worksheet so in other words if i wanted to change the data up top you might say well what what if if i want this number right here to, to show uh, to calculate automatically but if I'm over the 80 percent then I wouldn't have this calculation in other words if I was to have insured uh, 245,000 then I, I would be over the 80 percent at the 240 and notice this calculation is still calculating it and now it's it's acting like I'm going to get a claim greater than the 15,000 which isn't the case so we could use like an if then or logic kind of formula down here to so that we can make some adjustments if we wanted to so i'm going to undo that and say in other words this cell if it's greater than one 
I want it to just be one. And if it's if it's less than one, that's when I want to have it be this. So let's do an if calcul an if function. So it's going to be equals if brackets. And the logic test is going to be we're going to say if this cell divided by this cell, same thing. If that divided by that is is let's say a greater than one. If it's greater than one, then comma what do I want it to do? Well, if it's greater than one, I want it to just put the the uh, one there. So I just want to keep it at the 15,000. In other words, we'll multiply times one or 100%. So I'll put one. If not, then what do I want it to do? I want it to do that actual calculation. I want it to take this divided by this. And then I'll close up the brackets. And so so there we have it. So now it's there. And if this was over, so if I had my insurance my home at the 248,000 or something so now it's going to stop at the 100 percent so now you can see this is why it's useful to have your data on the left hand side because of course now you can play with these numbers over here and work different calculations uh with it and get a get a result from it or at least check check your result and try to automate your worksheets uh as much as possible so let's bring it down to the 230 obviously if it was less than that 200 thousand you could start to kind of automate your sheets here and see how much of a penalty that uh, that you could have in those instances 230,000 here we go